Are you looking to move to Frisco, Texas and wondering what it would actually feel like to live here? If that's you, you've come to the right place because today we're gonna jump into my top 10 as well as take you on a few neighborhood tours. Let's go. Welcome to Living Dallas with Logan. I'm Logan Shreve, your local real estate expert. My family lives, works, and plays right here in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. If you're looking for not just information and insight, but perhaps a deeper dive into what it would actually feel like to live in this beautiful place we call home, consider subscribing and clicking the notification bell. Ladies and gentlemen, in my right hand, I have Frisco's top 10. Let's get started, shall we? Number 10. Frisco Square. Frisco Square is located on Main Street, just off the tollway and directly across the street from Toyota Stadium, home of FC Dallas. Rest assured we will circle back to Toyota Stadium. There's a lot going on there. Frisco Square is a beautiful planned development. There you'll find a nice blend of restaurants and retail. Many festivals and events are also held at the square. If Thai is your jam, I'd highly recommend Best Thai. Their Pat Wusson is legendary. Another one of my family's favorites is Pizzeria Testa. Definitely not your typical pizzeria. Think Pizza Neapolitan meets True Food Kitchen. Just beyond the fountain, the lawn, and the sculptures, you'll find the George A. Purefoy Municipal Center. Inside, Frisco City Hall is located to the west and Frisco Public Library to the east. It's important to note that the new Frisco Public Library is currently under construction and it will be nothing short of extraordinary. We're gonna cover more on that later in this video. Moving right along. Number nine, downtown Frisco, the rail district. Downtown Frisco is also located on Main Street, less than a mile down from Frisco Square. Noted for its great shops, restaurants, and what's become iconic murals, Downtown Frisco is true to its charm and serves as a reminder to us of Frisco's humble beginnings. The murals, created by both local and national artists, elevate the quaint, cozy area and do well to showcase its creative side. For 2022, Frisco is bringing improvements to the rail district. The idea is to make the downtown more pedestrian friendly by eliminating the street parking in favor of widening the sidewalks to 18 feet. Additionally, plans are also underway to construct a pedestrian plaza on 4th Street. The continued improvements to the master plan and reinvestment back into Frisco's downtown sends a testament to the people of this community and the city council that they are, as Frisco's slogan implies, progress in motion. Let's keep going. Number eight. Stonebriar Mall. Stonebriar Mall is located north of 121, where 121 intersects the Dallas North Tollway. Side note, if Ikea is your thing, it's right next door. Additionally, for geographical reference, Riders Field is also located within a stone's throw of the mall. Hint, we will be revisiting Riders Field. At nearly 1.8 million square feet, Stonebriar Mall consists of 184 stores and services with 12 anchor tenants. If you want it, they probably have it, including Kidzania and iFly, two of my kids' favorites. Opening in August 2000 makes Stonebriar some 20 years old. Even at 20 years, however, with its local popularity, diverse shopping experiences, and superb management, Stonebriar rivals any modern mall experience. And ladies and gentlemen, with that, we've completed number eight. It's time for our first neighborhood tour, so let's get after it. Welcome to The Trails, located in West Frisco. The Trails is surrounded by a multitude of restaurants and retail offerings, including several prized attractions such as Toyota Stadium, Frisco Square, and Downtown Frisco. Residents of the Trails can enjoy public access to the golf course as well as private access to the gated pools and tennis courts. Green spaces, nature trails, a beautiful park, and a pond are also accessible to residents. The majority of homes were built in the early 2000s. 
Home sizes range from 1,500 to just over 5,000 square feet of living and are made up of three to five bedrooms and up to five bathrooms. As of early summer 2022, homes are priced from the low 500s to just over 1.2 million. Welcome to 1472 Kingfish Lane. This one has three beds, three full baths, and comes in at 2,315 square feet of living. Features include a split floor plan, two offices, and a covered outdoor living area. Listed at 550,000, this property would serve as a great example of properties in the trails that are selling in the lower 30% of home values for the neighborhood. For more information on the trails, my contact information can be found in the description. I told you guys we'd be coming back here. Ladies and gentlemen, number seven, I give you Riders Field. Located where 121 meets the North Dallas Tollway and directly behind Ikea. Formerly known as Dr. Pepper Stadium, Riders Field is home of the AA Frisco Rough Riders. Opening in 2003, architect David Schwartz set out to create, as he puts it, a village-like park within a park field. He accomplishes this by separating the nine interconnected pavilions that house the concessions, restrooms, and suites from the main seating area. This creates a natural corridor for the North Texas winds, allowing for increased airflow, cooling down the stadium on hot summer nights. Given the use of hardy fiber cement board siding as its exterior, many have said it adds to the village-like feel. Some have even compared it to Churchill Downs in Kentucky. Quite possibly the most intriguing feature would have to be the Lazy River. A single lap is 400 feet and is accessible for individual ticket holders. I challenge you to find a stadium where you can float around during a game. If that's not enough for you, firework shows are routinely scheduled during weekend games. You can watch from the pool, the stands, or spectators can even access the field and watch from the outfield. Ladies and gentlemen, that's number seven. Let's move it right along. Number six, I give you Toyota Stadium. Located just off the tollway on Main Street, directly across from Frisco Square. Home of FC Dallas and the National Soccer Hall of Fame, the stadium opened in 2005 and boasts a seating capacity of 20,500. Like Riders Field, fireworks are a hot attraction and routinely scheduled throughout the season. Many also come to enjoy special fireworks celebrations for both New Year's and July 4th. In addition to Toyota Stadium's primary use by FC Dallas, the stadium also hosts concerts, college football championships, and bowl games. Most notably, the NCAA Division I Football Championship, which was first hosted at the stadium in 2010, and the contract has recently been extended through 2024. The complex also has 17 additional regulation-sized stadium-quality soccer fields. These additional fields are made up of both grass and turf and routinely used by FC Dallas for practice as well as various youth tournaments. Ladies and gentlemen, number five, The Star. Located just off the tollway in Warren Parkway, The Star is a 91 acre development that includes, get ready for it, the Dallas Cowboys team headquarters and training facility, a 300-room Omni Hotel, the Dallas Cowboys Ring of Honor Walk, restaurants, retail, Baylor Scott White, Sports Therapy and Research Center for Sports Medicine, and finally, the Ford Center. Wow, this is an incredible development that is both well-managed and maintained. The Ford Center is a 12,000 seat indoor stadium that's main use is the practice facility for the Dallas Cowboys. However, it's also used on Friday nights by the Frisco ISD for high school varsity football games. The Star is also a great location to catch many events and celebrations throughout the year. My family enjoys the annual Christmas at the Star where they count down the lighting of the 67 foot tall Christmas tree. Just the mix of retail, restaurants, hospitality, sports, entertainment, corporate office space, medical, all in the same area and executed so well, truly makes the star quite unique. Ladies and gentlemen, 
that wraps up number five. And I think it's time for our next neighborhood tour. Welcome to the Lakes on Legacy Drive. Located in Southwest Frisco, everything from big box to boutique, the Lakes on Legacy Drive is conveniently located to an abundance of retail and restaurant offerings. Some notable developments would be Stonebriar Mall, The Star, Shops at Legacy, and Legacy West. Kroger Grocers and Market Street are also both conveniently located to the Lakes on Legacy Drive. Residents of the Lakes on Legacy Drive will enjoy several fishing ponds and a 24-hour gated entrance. Additionally, included in the Homeowners Association dues is membership at the Lakes Tennis Academy, where residents will enjoy tennis and swimming. Consisting of about 300 homes with the majority constructed in the early 2000s. Residences range in size from 2,400 to just over 7,400 square feet of living and are made up of three to six bedrooms and up to eight bathrooms. As of early summer 2022, homes are priced from 600,000 to just over 3.2 million. Welcome to 4569 Florence Drive, made up of three bed, two full and one half bath and coming in at 3,477 square feet of living. A few notable features would be a gourmet kitchen, a media room and 240 degree views of the lake. Listed at 1.1 million, this property would serve as a great example of properties in the Lakes on Legacy Drive that are selling in the top 40% of home values for the neighborhood. To learn more about the Lakes on Legacy Drive, feel free to reach out anytime. Okay, moving right along, the next three, numbers four, three, and two, are not quite completed yet. They're in the works, but I included them because it is a testament to where Frisco is headed. With that being said, we're going into number four, which is Frisco's new public library. Construction began in the spring of 2021 on this 157,000 square foot masterpiece, and it should be a 22 month endeavor. This will be more than three times larger than our already amazing library. The new location couldn't be more ideal in that it will occupy the additional space in the Formant Rocket Factory, AKA the Beale Building, which already houses the Frisco Discovery Center. If you're not familiar with the Frisco Discovery Center, that's where you'll find the Black Box Theater, the Sci-Fi Discovery Center, and the National Video Game Museum. The Dallas chapter of the American Institute of Architects in May 2021 awarded the new Frisco Public Library with its prestigious Unbuilt Award for its 19th century dog trot style and integrated sustainability measures. Library director Shelley Holly made reference that in addition to the traditional learning from books and periodicals, the new library will put a large focus on what she calls dynamic learning, which is a more hands-on approach. An example of this would be the full life-size T-Rex dinosaur that is set to adorn the children's area. Moving along, number three. Okay, number three is interesting. Frisco doesn't have this yet, but what entertainment venue does every major city have? This one would appeal to like the literary, artistic, musical, theatrical type. A performing arts theater. I give you the new performing arts theater. On June 22, 2021, Frisco City Council unanimously approved an agreement to construct a performing arts center. Set to be located in Hall Park, which is just off the tollway and Warren Parkway, south of the Star. $129 million is budgeted for the project and will be a public-private partnership between the City of Frisco, putting up $62 million, Frisco ISD, $43 million, and the Hall Group, $25 million, including the land. The initial proposal includes a main performance hall with at least 1,500 seats, a smaller venue with 250 seats, a parking garage, and a five-acre park. The Performing Arts Center will be a nice addition to the city of Frisco as it continues to transform into a world-class city. Side note, the new Performing Arts Center is actually just a part of a much larger $7 billion redevelopment of Hall Park. We'll definitely be covering that more in upcoming videos. Moving along, number two 
Two, you need to think of this, three words, path of progress. Arguably, one of the most notable developments in the entire nation right now. Number two, the field's development. Consisting of more than 2,500 acres of prime real estate located right dab in the path of progress. Direct your attention to the North Dallas Tollway. It starts at downtown Dallas and travels north 30.2 miles until it ends at 380. Bam. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the location of the field's development. It's worth also noting that the tollway is currently under construction, continuing its path to the north and eventually all the way up to US 82. So if location isn't enough for you, perhaps the mastermind behind the project would inspire you, Femi Carahan. Mr. Carahan brought us Shops at Legacy and Legacy West, two outstanding developments on the Plano Frisco line. He has now set his sights on something even more spectacular. So what is the field's development? Made up of nine villages, the PGA headquarters, the new University of North Texas at Frisco campus, it's nothing short of monumental and it will change the face of North Texas well into the future. Yes, I did say PGA and yes, they are relocating their corporate headquarters to the field's development. In fact, it's already under construction along with two flagship 18-hole golf courses and a 550-room Omni Hotel Resort. It was also just announced that Ritz-Carlton will be joining the mix. Many economists are suggesting that Frisco, large in part due to the field's development, might actually become the future hub of the Dallas Metroplex. Now, with that being said, it is time for our final neighborhood tour. Welcome to Newman Village, located in Northwest Frisco. One of the many perks of living in Frisco is the convenience to all the restaurants, retail, and entertainment venues. Newman Village is no exception. Grocery store options? Choose from Sprouts, Market Street, Target, or Costco, all within five minutes. The new PGA headquarters and fields development is also less than 10 minutes to the east. Another noteworthy hotspot would be Little Elm Beach, located less than 15 minutes to the west. We'll be covering more on Little Elm Beach in upcoming videos. The gated community of Newman Village is centered around an Italian-inspired plaza with incredible fountains paying homage to Old World Italy. Residents can also enjoy the many sculptures, the amphitheater, walking trails, the resort-style pool, tennis courts, and numerous green spaces. The majority of homes were built in the mid-2010s with new construction still available in various filings. Home sizes range from 3,000 to just over 7,900 square feet of living and are made up of three to six bedrooms and up to nine bathrooms. As of early summer 2022, homes are priced from 1 million to right at 4 million. Welcome to 12461 Farmstead Drive, a new construction model home built by Ron Davis Custom Homes. At five bedrooms, five full and one half baths, and right at 7,000 square feet of living, this residence is masterfully crafted with discerning attention to every detail. A few notable features include a bridge walk with views over two-story living and foyer, windows for art displays in the study, temperature-controlled wine room, sub-zero appliances and designer kitchen, exceptional outdoor living with kitchen and fireplace, media room, expansive upstairs game room with designer bar, and on the tech and engineering front, Lutron controls, Telefirma foundation, and 2x6 exterior wall framing. Listed at $3,912,500, this property would represent sales at the top 5% of property values in Newman Village. The majority of sales in Newman Village are between $1.5 million and $3 million. Let me know if you would like more information on Newman Village. I'm always happy to help. And we are here, we are at number one, the moment you've all been waiting for. Number one is, drum roll please, the spectacular, the sensational, the one, the only, Miss Irene Frisco's friendly neighborhood crossing guard. Mm -hmm. 
What makes Miss Irene so extraordinary, you ask? Is it her impeccable sign welding skills? Or is it her keen ability to stop two-ton metal monsters from crushing our precious children? What makes her so extraordinary is much simpler than that. It's her joy. Day after day, I drive by and I see her dancing and smiling. I thought to myself, I gotta join her. Yes, that was a little on the silly side, but it made number one for two reasons. Number one, while real estate is a serious business, life's too short to be serious all the time. And number two, while things and places are a great representation of the communities we live in, it's arguably the people that have the larger impact. And with that being said, cheers to Miss Irene and those like her that make our communities what they are today. Additionally, if you are looking to move to the DFW Metroplex in the near future, I would love to make your dreams come true. My contact information is in the description below. Until next time, God bless and Godspeed.